all know what these are, pineapples, but do you know how they grow? It turns out pineapples are just wonderfully weird. For example, this single pineapple isn't even a single fruit. Confused? Hmm. Well, to find out how these bizarre fruits grow, I'm going to travel to a tiny island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, where pineapples grow in their thousands, thanks to a local secret. Mm. Oh, and stick around till the end of the video, because I've got a pineapple growing hack using this top part just for you. Come on. To get to where I'm going, first I have to fly to Lisbon in Portugal and then leave again on another flight. I'm flying to the Azores, to an island called São Miguel. You'd have to squint to see it on a map. It's just a tiny speck in the sea, but it's where we'll find lots and lots and lots of pineapples. This is one of many plantations on the island where pineapples grow in these little white greenhouses. But they don't grow on trees and they don't grow in bunches or on bushes. So how do they grow? This is how they grow, on a single stalk sticking right up in the air as if it's been glued on. It is so odd and this one is adorable. It's only a baby so it's got a while to grow yet. It will actually take a plant at least two years to grow a single pineapple. And these very strange fruits, they don't even start life as seeds. Here, they grow Azorean pineapples from a rhizome. A rhizome is the bit of the pineapple plant that grows underground. This can be removed and it's planted in some super soil, but it doesn't go into the soil this way. It gets planted under the soil this way. And that's because lots of little baby pineapple plants will grow from the rhizome. After about six months, those baby plants will be sticking up above the soil. And that's when they're strong enough to be plucked from the rhizome and are ready to be planted out on their own. The next part of the process will really surprise you. So six months later, the pineapple plants look like this. Haven't you lot grown? Now the plants are ready to be smoked with banana leaves. It's said that the smoking process was discovered completely by accident a long time ago. Back then, pineapple farmers would uh, be smoking cigars whilst they were working inside the greenhouses. And they realised that the cigar smoke helped all of the pineapple plants to fruit at the same time. This was a good thing because it made them much easier to pick. So the tradition stuck. Except these days, they don't use cigar smoke. Instead, they use the banana leaves and they smoke them inside these metal cans. The reason they smoke the banana leaves is because the banana smoke produces a chemical called ethylene, and ethylene helps the plants along. It's a little bit like putting a banana inside your fruit bowl to help the rest of the fruit ripen. Next up, the pineapple flowers will start to grow, but that takes three things. More time, a lot of water, and just the right amount of sunshine. The reason lots of the greenhouses are painted white is to help reflect the sunshine so they don't get too hot inside. They do have to get repainted quite a lot because it's rainy here in the Azores, but that's actually a good thing because that rain can be collected inside these huge pools, which is then used to water the pineapples. And it's even home to some fish. Here she's. Look, 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 right, I've been searching and I've managed to find a pineapple plant with flowers that are beginning to show. So don't mind me whilst I just lunge over the spiky leaves. I don't want to disturb the soil. Right, can you see there? That red blob? That is the start of some pineapple flowers just crowning at the top. They do look a bit like a crown, don't they? But yeah, I say flowers because a pineapple isn't just one flower, it's a whole load of them. So let's see if I can find a slightly older plant to show you how that's going to develop. Just <laughs> trip. <laughs> okay, flowers, 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 flowers. Yes, brilliant. Okay, perfect. All right. Here, look, we can see a little bit more clearly that a pineapple actually starts out as a bunch of around 
200 beautiful flowers. Now, every single one of these flowers with those purple petals develops into something a bit like a berry. Eventually, the petals fall off and all of those berries squish together to make what seems like a single fruit. So even though we think of a pineapple as one fruit, it's actually a load of berries that have just fused together. Oh, and over here, here we go, to not long later when the petals have fallen off, we have the beginnings of what really does look like an adorable itty bitty pineapple. After almost two years, the pineapples are nearly ready. The pineapples in here are absolutely stunning. In fact, can you see that one? That is a juicy bunch of berries right there. You know, it totally makes sense why now and throughout history, people have been obsessed with pineapples. Not only are they delicious and weird and wonderful, but they really are works of art. But you might notice that lots of these pineapples are kind of a bluey, purpley color, which means they're not ripe. Thankfully, there is one pineapple in this entire plantation that is ready to be picked. And it's just over there. <laughs> We've nicknamed it the golden pineapple. And I think you'll agree, it looks absolutely delicious. But wouldn't it be nice if there was a much simpler way to grow a pineapple at home? Maddie, back in England, over to you. Hello, I'm here to help. The good news is that not all pineapples grow like they do in the Azores. Some pineapples can grow from other pineapples. And this is really easy to do, so you can even try it at home. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a ripe pineapple and twist or cut off the top, just like I did earlier. And when you've done that, you want to start peeling back the leaves at the base of your pineapple top. And as you do, you'll see you begin to reveal something hiding under those leaves. There we go. I'm beginning to see them. Do you know what these stringy little bits are? These are roots. Now, sometimes a pineapple top might have loads of roots, like this pineapple I tried the other day, or you might have fewer, like this one. But the good news is these roots tell us that we might be able to grow our own pineapple plant. All you need to do is take your pineapple top with the exposed roots and put it into a pot of soil. Tuck it in with a little bit more, just so it will stand up by itself, and then give it a drink by pouring water directly whoop, into the leaves because they're actually designed to funnel the water down towards the middle of the plant. Leave this in a warm, sunny spot, and if you're patient, you might even grow your own pineapple in about three to five years. You should give it a try. Now, back to Maddie in the Azores. So the next time you have some pineapple, remember you're actually eating a bunch of berries that could have taken over two years to grow. It's a long wait, but I'd say it is always worth it. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more, stay curious, and I'll see you soon. Bye.